what does a mini jade bonsai tree have in common with nutshells? Obviously, they're all small. So, if you put a mini jade bonsai tree and a nutshell together, you should get a jade bonsai tree in a nutshell. Hi there, I'm Stefan and in this old bonsai video I'm going to plant this small golem jade bonsai tree in this nutshell. So, let's get right into it. These are some small sized walnuts. And here is how the normal nutshells look alongside one from a larger variety. These two here are regular nutshells which are smaller in size when compared with this one which I got from a different walnut variety. This one has the perfect size to fit my small jade, so this is the nutshell that I'll be using today. The first thing to do is to clean up the inside of the nutshell. For this I'll be using this regular small knife. I'm scraping away the inner walnut partition membrane that grows between the shell and the lobes of the seed or embryo that we usually eat. The inside of the nutshell is not that smooth, as it's almost a negative of the exterior surface which makes it a bit difficult to get into all the nooks and crannies. With a little bit of scraping here and there it will be done in no time. Don't apply too much pressure on the nutshell walls as they are thin and they might break. You might think that a walnut shell may not be a good choice for a bonsai pot as it is vegetal in origin and will decompose in time. It's true. I looked it up and it takes around 2 years for a nutshell to decompose when composted. However, this one will not be composted and also I will not water it so often since jades are succulents and don't like too much water. I will also apply some protective coatings to lengthen its lifetime. Even if it breaks down eventually, I can always find a replacement nutshell. Ok, now that the nutshell interior is all cleaned up, we need to drill some drainage holes. For this, I'll be using a 6mm drill bit to drill 3 drainage holes. You should apply gentle pressure when drilling to avoid breaking the thin nutshell walls. This is how the inside of the nutshell looks all cleaned up and with the holes drilled. As an interior coating, I'm going to apply water-resistant wood glue using this brush. The wood glue that I use is waterproof and transparent after drying up. I just apply a bit on the brush and then apply it all over the inside of the nutshell. You should make sure you get into all the nooks and crannies. I will apply one single coat but you can apply more if you wish. After drying up, it will be non-toxic and inert like most wood glues. After one hour it's completely transparent. For the outside of the nutshell I'm applying some olive oil. I'm going to apply it thoroughly, then let it soak for a while and then wipe off any excess. Next, it's time to take care of the small golem jade plant. It comes out easily since I only extracted it from a larger pot into this smaller one a couple of months ago. It doesn't have much of a root system, but still I'm going to clean up these roots. This mini golem jade is about 4 years old. It grew from a leaf that fell in a larger pot and I didn't really pay much attention to it until recently. Now. I want to grow it as a mini twin trunk jade bonsai. One issue that I have is that this single trunk grows too close to the other one. So I will have to use some wire even if I don't particularly like using it. I'm now wiring the trunk and bending it to its desired position. Now it's time to plant the jade into its new pot. Due to the size of the nutshell I will have to use some wire to hold the bonsai in its place. I'm using a 50-50 mix of perlite and vermiculite which I sifted to get smaller soil granularity.
I'm fixing the jade in place using the wire. And now I fill in the rest of the pot. Now, one thing I was afraid of is that the nutshell will not be able to stand on its own. No problem. I have a solution for this. I'm going to use some copper bonsai wire to make a support for the nutshell. First, I'm securing the wire in the groove located right below the nutshell lip. And then I use the rest of the wire to make some kind of supporting base. It will be something along these lines but a bit more compact. This is what I came up with after some more fiddling around. It's still pretty compact and it kind of reminds me of Aladdin's lamp. Please tell me your opinion in the comment section below. If you like the video, please consider subscribing for more and don't forget the bell notification icon. It's time to water the jade thoroughly now. And now I want to trim it just a little bit. One small cut here. And another one here. That's it. This mini Gollum jade is now the smallest of my bonsai trees and could easily fit in the Mame, Shito or even the Keshitsubo size group since it's smaller than 8cm. This was all for this video, thank you for watching and see you next time.